Hi, this is Sahana. In today's session, we are going to understand what is CLS. CLS stands for Common Language Specification. It is a subset of CTS. We have discussed CTS in our last session. You can refer to that video. And it is a set of rules defined for all the .NET languages. As you all know, .NET supports multiple languages and rules defined in CLS apply to all these languages that target .NET framework. CLS plays an important role. With CLS, we can write code in one language and use it in another language supported by .NET. That means this supports language interoperability. You might have heard the term CLS compliant. It is nothing but languages that follow the set of rules defined by CLS are called CLS compliant. Thus, CLS compliant code can be accessed from code written in any programming language that supports the CLS. If you want to go through CLS compliance rules in detail, here is a nice article from MSDN. This describes all the CLS compliance rules. You can go through the rules in detail. I'll keep this link in the description. If you are interested, you can go through this article. In short, CLS is a set of rules defined for language independence and language interoperability. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.